Test on exponents and logarithms. Question 8. Let a represent any positive number other than 1. If log to the base a of x plus 1 minus log a of 2 equals 2, half of log a of x, then prove that x minus 1 square equals to 0. Okay, let's solve this and see. So we have log a x plus 1 minus log a of 2 equals to half of log a of x. Now, we can bring all these terms to one side and then write it as one logarithm, correct? So let's do that. So we can write this as log a of x plus 1 minus log a of 2 and here we can write this or what we can do is we can multiply by 2 and then bring them on one side so let's multiply this by 2 equals to log a of x correct so now we use power rules when you multiply this by 2 this could be written as x plus 1 whole square right so we'll open this bracket now so we'll write this as log a of x plus 1 square minus log a of 2 square, correct? So that is 2 times log a of 2 will be written as log a of 2 square. 2 times log a of x plus 1 is being written as log a of x plus 1 square. We have used the power rule, okay? And let's bring this to the left side and that is minus log a of x equals to 0, right? Now, this could be combined and all these logs can be combined and written as x plus 1 whole square divided by 2 square is 4 times x equals to 0, right? Now, if this is 0, it really means that log of 1 is 0, right? Therefore, we can write this as, let me take it on this side, and we can write this as x plus 1 whole square over 4x is equal to 1, correct? Since log of 1 is 0, do you see? Since, because log 1 equals to 0, correct? Therefore, this should be equal to 1. Now, let's cross multiply and solve. So, x plus 1 whole square, I'm expanding that, x square plus 2x plus 1, and then I'm multiplying both sides by 4x equals to 4x, correct? Now, let me bring 4x together to the left side, x square plus 2x minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. We'll combine these terms and we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. And this is a perfect square with x minus 1 whole square, right? Equals to 0. And that is what we wanted to prove, correct? There you go. So this is how you prove this. Thank you.